Welcome to the second part of lesson 8.1, where we are going to actually build on something we've already talked about in the past, and that is interpreting rate functions. So if we look at this graph right here, this is the graph of rate of rainfall in inches per hour. So something we need to specify is this is the graph of a rate. This is a graph of a first derivative, aka velocity. Velocity is always a rate, miles per hour, inches per minute, that sort of thing. So this graph is actually the graph of the velocity, not the position, which is something we'll want to be very careful of as we're answering these questions. And it models the rate of rainfall from midnight until 6 a.m. So there's our graph that we're going to focus on this whole time. So let's start with number six. Write a complete sentence to explain what point A on the graph represents. Include numbers and units in your answer. So let's actually put what point A is. So A is going to be 3, 1. Now this x value stands for time in hours. This y value is the rate of rainfall. So if I want to say what this point means, I could say at this time, the rate of rainfall is this much. So at 3 a.m., three hours after midnight, the rate of rainfall is one inch per hour. That's what that y value means. Next question, it asks about the slope between points B and C. So there's that. Our slope is rise over run. So it looks like we're falling one, so negative one, running one. So that's negative 1 over 1, so negative 1, and we need some units. So let's think, this is slope of f prime, which is really the second derivative. If it's the slope of the first derivative, that's the derivative of the first derivative, which is the second derivative, or acceleration. So our units for this one is going to be negative 1 inches per hour per hour, or per hour squared. Now let's write a complete sentence explaining what that means. So that means within this time period, so let's word it like this, between... 4 and 5 a.m., the rate of rainfall, so the rate of the rainfall is decreasing, and here's the key, the rate of rain, rainfall decreased at a rate. Those are the key words in this answer, because this shows, remember, this is acceleration or second derivative. This is rate of a rate. So that is second derivative. That fits what we're looking at. So it decreased at a rate of one inch per hour. And as long as I have this word decreased, I don't need to put the negative in front, because that's what that decrease means. Okay, question nine. Find the integral from three to five. So let's highlight what this is. So I want to find all of this. Area under the curve from three to five. Well, that looks like a rectangle and a triangle. 
So the rectangle is going to be length times width, 1 times 1, plus this triangle will be 1 half times 1 times 1. So 1 plus 1 half is going to be 3 halves. Now let's think of our units. If this is f prime, the first derivative, and I take the integral of the first derivative, then what this really is, this is the original. The integral of the derivative is the original, or position. So the units on this one is not a rate anymore at all. This is the original, so this is just three and a half inches. Now let's talk about number 10. Write a sentence explaining what this means. So let's start with our time. Now our time is here between 3 and 5 a.m. So between 3 and 5 a.m. Now let's talk about what this number means. This is the original. So what this is really saying is between 3 and 5 a.m., this is how much it rained. It rained 1.5 inches. That's what that position means, is between this time, this is how much it rained. That's the original. Not the rate of rainfall, not the rate of the rate of rainfall, just the original how much rainfall. Okay. Two more. Approximate the value of 0 to 6 using geometric regions. So the keyword here is approximate. So I'm going to come up here to this one. And let's approximate that with a triangle. Because it doesn't specifically say we have to do a Riemann sum. It just says approximate using geometric shapes. So let's use a triangle to approximate this. And now this time, I want to find this whole area from 0 to 6. Whole thing from 0 to 6. So that's basically going to be this triangle plus what I did in number 9. So that triangle is going to be 1 half times this base, which is 3, times this height, which is 1, plus the 1.5 I've already got, which is 3. And this is still the integral of f prime. So this is still an F or position, still an original. It's just now it's the position from 0 to 6 instead of from 3 to 6. So let's write a sentence what this means. Between midnight and 6 a.m. The total, sorry. Yep. The total amount of rainfall was approximately, because this one's not exact, I had to approximate that area, 3 inches. So that is taking what we've done before with interpreting rate functions, but now we've added integrals into it going backwards from a rate function. That's it for 8.1. You can get started on your homework.